your butt. <laughs> That's crazy. Good levels to it, my boy. <laughs> That's why. You ain't never done something like that. Nah. Yeah. I like this one better than the last one. Yeah. The, the other oh, one they look. We improving, my boy. <laughs> Welcome back. We have another great, great, great video today. I'm very excited because this is my first Lamborghini STO that we're gonna be doing today. And on top of that, we have a beautiful Rolls Royce Cullinan that we're gonna go ahead and maintenance. This has been already detailed by us. So we're gonna go ahead and show you guys that have been asking for this type of video also of how we do the stripes on the carpets. So we're gonna give you a quick little in and outs of it and then hopefully you guys like it and uh, you guys start applying it. And if you guys do like it, remember to go ahead and tag us so that way we can go ahead and repost you guys on our Instagram. By the way, Joseph's been getting some fame lately and he doesn't like or repost any of our stuff. Go blow his stuff up and tell him to repost us. On Instagram? No, we ain't gonna give him that yet. yet. We, ain't gonna, we ain't gonna feature the Instagram just yet. <laughs> All right, first steps. First and second steps. Literally, first and second step from PNS recommended. So this is the Terminator and this is the car, uh, carpet varmer. So we sprayed it already on this carpet. Then we go ahead and follow it up with a drill. It's a Dewalt. This is a Ryobi drill. Uh, brush it, sorry. Go ahead and hit it up. So I'll go ahead and show you right now. Then after that, you mop it up with a towel. And then I like to use the finisher from PNS Peroxide to go ahead and make sure uh, the surface is ready for any striping and it doesn't reactivate any of the solids to come back up. And then I just top it off just because it's a, a good little spray of a fresh up from Coach Kimmy. And then I brush it all up and then I put it back in there. And I'll show you guys, come on, of how it looks once we're done. Ta-da! Pull this out for you real quick. You guys can see it. Kind of did a, more of a little diamond pattern and straight lines also. This client, I always, always, always am trying different designs just because this carpet or the Rolls Royce are so easy to make designs in. So this client always getting some nice new designs because I'm always playing with them. So now we can go and roll over to other, other clients of what designs I like and what I don't like. So. Now we go ahead and mop it up once we're done drilling. And then once we're done doing that, turn on the light real quick. Kind of just like to pat it down. Any last little uh, sand or dirt. And then we just push it up the way we want it. And then put the block side, finish up. Oh. Put the peroxide and then you put your choice of scent and then you're ready to start brushing away and doing your designs. Peroxide, hit them with one, one of these, just uh, one of these. Then you hit them with one of these. And y'all are good to go. On to the brush work. All right, now this part of the game here, of the carpet games, you kind of just got to know how to do it. You know what I mean? Because every, this, put it like this. The carpet game, you're like an artist, okay? I can show you, but sometimes you got to have it in. So for the most part, I can tell you what brush I'm using. But it probably won't be the same outcome because 
This is all of how steady you are, how clean you are with the lines, and how neat you are overall, and patience, really. So, I'll show you, but I can't guarantee this is how yours is gonna be. Yours could be even better than mine. I don't know, so, yeah. For the thin lines. Look quick. Let's go. No, don't go that fast. Slow and steady. Always wins the race. Oh. Alright guys, this happens to the best of us. I was so concentrated on one side. This specific design was meant for the whole right side. So when you walk in, the design is presented to you. And now this is the left side of the vehicle. And I did it like if I was on the right side. So visually, it's gonna look a whole lot different. So, gonna have to redo this thing, unfortunately, which I don't wanna do, but I might have to, but. Yeah, be patient. All right guys, so we just applied some acid to the wheels, taking off that heavy brake dust. So we're gonna go ahead and apply a breaker to the face of the wheels and the wheelbarrow. Then we're gonna apply a knockout to the tires and the wheel wheels. So we're gonna go ahead and use the Maxine wheel mitt to go ahead and hit the face of the wheels. This is only step one of the multi-process wheel cleaning. All right, so here what, what we call is a caliper massage, part detailer, and I'm also a part massage therapist. So the reason why I go ahead and use my hands to scrub the, the caliper is just so I can get all the little things that I missed with the brush. All right, so right now we're gonna use the easy brush to go ahead and hit the wheel barrels and all that break does. So this is the big easy. We're gonna use this to go ahead and hit the wheel wells. So we're gonna go ahead and use the yellow towel to take off the grime and dirt that's on the tire. This is also your last step of the process. Good donation. <laughs> All right, one thing I do want to mention that I've been getting a lot of phone calls and some clients going ahead and booking with us. We do have a total of about like 15 employees. So if it's not Joseph or me attending to your guys' services, just be advised it might be a, one of our good employees, Caesar, uh, Francisco, and uh, you know there's a few other ones that are on our just mobile side. So we do have a set location where we detail a lot of vehicles in downtown LA, and we do have our mobile site. So if it's not Joseph or me, don't be surprised because we do have a couple other staff members. So I just wanted to let you guys know because I have had a lot of people say, hey, um, you know, is Joseph or Mike kind of come down? And um, if you guys don't really specify in the comments, because there is a comments or description area, who you'd like to come, you're just gonna have someone that's more available. They are educated and the detail side, so they do know exactly how to wash it. Don't feel like you're not getting a good satisfaction in detail. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for booking. Continue. Appreciate it. So, these are Detail Factory brushes. Now this is an absurd bigger brush than this, but now we found out the true meaning and reason for this in our arsenal. This is gonna be our cracks and crevices for the window seals, the mirrors, and stuff like that, the little emblems. Now this is gonna tackle more of the bigger areas. As you can see, this we can be here all day. This we just get in there, in and out, in and out. So it's gonna be a lot easier, especially for drills like this car. Instead of going like this, we can just go like this. A lot easier. 
and there's about a lot more bristles, so more chances of getting even more dirt out on the same sweat. Alright guys, so we went ahead and combed it down, rinsed it down, and then dried it down. We already hit the door jams, little cracks and crevices, and we're hitting the wheels now. Hey, there's something yeah. off on this, um, on these, like... Not with the ignition. Not this, like, um, the air intake thing. Air intake? <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Air intake. That's crazy. <laughs> that is a valve. Yeah, there you go, the air valve. Tire. Check it out. I think something wrong with it. Shoot up or what? Nah, let me just check that out. Oh, bling bling. Dang. Oh, wait, is that chrome heart? <laughs> <laughs> that we got chrome heart. Nah, he, well, there's like, no way it's chrome heart. Yeah. <laughs> there's no way it's chrome heart. It's 2018. Bro, that's chrome heart. Nah, that's chrome heart caps. That nah. is wild. <laughs> That's nah. why I was stuttering so much. <laughs> My boy is too stunned to speak. Chrome heart caps? Oh.